Well, Dean, we rolled back the years with some amazing goals today, but I think the standout goal today has to be that scissor kick. Just run us through it. It was like I was uh, 23 years old again, <laughs> what I was thinking I was doing. But do you know what? To be able to play in front of a full stadium and then to score a goal like that, I'll tell you what, it means such a lot to me. You know, now that they're going to leave the stadium as well, if that's my last ever goal at Upton Park, you know, what a way to, to finish. But obviously, it's all about Mark Noble and his day. And I think, it, I mean, what a turnout. You know, a sellout, and he absolutely deserves it for what he's given to this football club. Does it say something about the man that so many former heroes, so many former legends, have come back for the man today? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Not, not only is he a fantastic football player and he's given a hell of a lot to this club, but he's a top bloke and he gets on with everyone. I don't know anyone that doesn't doesn't get on with Nobes, and uh, that's because he's, you know, he's, he's a top bloke. And I think the the thing that he shows most is his passion, which is what this club's all about. It's about passion and determination, and he's he's shown that in abundance throughout the years. But also that touch of class. He he's got that touch of class that that I think we've all seen over the years. Touch of class. I've got to go back to this goal. I mean, when the cross came over, there was only one thing in your mind, wasn't there? Oh, I know. I mean, obviously Ian Bishop with a lovely little dink to the back post, and it's just one of those instincts. It is instinct, you know. I've obviously done it in the past, but. The only problem is that how much that'll hurt tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you recall a goal you, uh, you scored, a scissor kick? I think it was up at Old Trafford, wasn't it? But it was, yeah. I mean, that, that'll be up there with it, I think. Um, obviously, uh, not in a real match, but still, just a, just a great day to, to come along and support Mark. And you touched on the last, sort of, probably a lot of the last boys' time to be out here on, on the bowling pitch. Just some memories, you've got so many, but today will live up there, won't it? Absolutely, and they all want to come back. We, we've all said we wanted to come back and... and you know, you want to come out and play one more time at the, at the bowling before they change. I think it's exciting that we're going to move to a new stadium, but you know, to come back and play one more time in front of a full, full house was, you know, I, I jumped at the chance. And nice to be playing alongside the likes of Paolo Di Canio and Rio Ferdinand in your team. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, there's some serious players out there today. Obviously, you know, West Ham took it easy on us, I think, but still, you can tell there's been some some world class players. It was just a great day. And how much would you love to see Nobes go up those steps at Wembley at the end of the season and maybe lift the FA Cup yeah, for us? Yeah, it'd be amazing. What a, fit, what a great way to, to finish the time at the bowling, to go to Wembley and, and win the Cup. And I really feel like we've got we've got a good chance. You know, this year we've been we've been fantastic and looked a different team to, to many years before. So, fingers crossed they do it. Just finally, Dean, how emotional is it going to be to that final night when we play Man United, the last ever game here? It is going to be an unbelievable evening. You know, you know, here at Upton Park, under the lights, is, is special at any time. But you know, to to be the last game here, I think there's going to be a, a lot of tears and um, a lot of appreciation of what an amazing place this is.